Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we are doing the bush trip on Alaska to Kulik Lake. And so <clears throat> today we are on leg number 10, which is about 77 nautical miles. It should take us uh, maybe uh, about uh, 40 minutes when it's all said and done. Uh, and uh, so uh, I don't think this is going to be real spectacular i think the uh uh i think we're going to be flying over the flats again like we did in the last leg uh last leg it was straight up the coast and then into the airport i think we uh, circle circular around over the peninsula here of one of the islands and then uh, uh we're going to be landing at uh Iget airport so we're going from pilot point today to Iget airport so I will uh, see you over in the cab of the plane. Okay, I'm over here in the cockpit of the plane. And so I will probably about halfway through, you can see we've got uh, what, uh, eight points here. And so we're gonna be taking off uh, here from the uh, airport and then uh, gonna be flying by a couple of lakes. Uh, we're gonna be hitting an island and we're gonna be steadily working our way uh, kind of around, if you kind of look at the course today. So we are starting here and we're gonna be circling around and we're gonna be seeing these lakes and stuff. Again, this is all on the flats out here. So there's not too much to talk about. So once I get up and going, uh, I will uh, kind of, uh, let me get this adjusted a little bit but pretty much just kind of let you enjoy the flight as we go along. So let me go ahead and minimize this and let's uh, go ahead and get started flying here. And let's lift off. And I believe we are heading pretty much in the direction that we want to be uh, flying. Well, let's uh, raise our flaps. And let's start adjusting are downward. All right, let's hop outside the cab. There we go. Now we can kind of see what we've got going on. Uh, okay, we, uh, let's double check something. So we should be heading uh, 55 roughly 55 degrees. So let's uh, start swinging around a little bit uh, and get squared away. All right, I'll get us on course here and keep flying away here and uh, uh, you guys enjoy the flight.
just to give you a little bit of an update on where we are at, I think we are about halfway through, uh, and I think we are heading, getting ready to head across. Well, I know this is where we're getting ready to head across, and we're heading for this island. So, and I think that that's what that point of interest is right there. So I think this is Upper uh, Yugishk Lake, and then uh, we are going to be heading uh, for the island, and then uh, we won't be too far from the airport. So just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an update on where we, where we were at. Uh, you know, with no navigational aids, it probably makes a little... Uh, it's not that much harder, actually. Uh, you just kind of follow along and look at the uh, landscape and what's out there. So uh, we are looking pretty good, but that island is going to be this island right here. And then we start, uh, if we scroll back out, we will start uh, coming back around and then uh, cutting across. Let's see, uh, what's after, that's, let's see. So we've got the upper Yugash Lake and then we're gonna be heading for that island. And then I think we've got uh, the big lake here, which is Bircheroff Lake. And then we're gonna be following the river on down. And then, uh, then we'll see the airport there. So just I kind of wanted to give you an update. So uh, it wasn't all just uh, flying along in music. And so let's, uh, let me kind of minimize this. And I'll uh, let you get back to enjoying the flight.
Okay, I think it's going to be getting close to time to go into the uh, cabin here pretty quick. Uh, it has this kind of turning here, but I believe if we get down here close, you'll see that the runways go this way. So I am going to actually kind of follow along the river, and then I'm going to swing back around and come in out over that point of land right there and i think that'll be a better approach than the way they have us coming into the airport uh so uh we followed the last point when i did the talking was right along these lakes here and then we came came across that lake and now we've been following the river which is the igigit river and so I think that's because uh, uh, we're going to be landing at the Ikakit Airport, which should be right in there. But we'll, once we get down here and we start swinging around, we should pick it up. And hopefully it's not going to be like it was uh, uh, a couple of uh, legs ago when I was uh, kind of doing a uh, Keystone Cops trying to find the uh, airport. So, so let me go ahead and get inside the cabin here, <clears throat> get a drink of water so I can talk a little more, but let's uh, get inside the cabin and we should start, uh, let's see if we can't start uh, losing a little bit of elevation here. Back off on the throttle. And we probably should go ahead and set a flap. At least one. And... Probably losing a little too much elevation, a little too fast there. I have a hard time reading these small numbers inside the cab, but uh, should be in pretty good shape here. And if we start swinging around a little bit here, should start to, s we kind of get swung around should pick up the airport to our left. And I think we need to kind of head out, get past this point. And yeah, get past this point in front of us, <clears throat> and then we can start swinging around. Yeah, I hope hope you've been enjoying the flights. I mean, they're pretty basic flights, actually. I think the real challenge is just flying in this damn Cub, uh, which, uh, you know, not one of my favorite aircraft, but you know what? It's okay. All right, let's slowly start swinging around, and then we should start seeing the uh, airport come around into our view here on the left. Oh, there it is right there. Ah, uh, let's get another bit of flaps. Ah, oh, we were a little closer than I thought we were. But that's one thing, the Cub is fairly maneuverable. So, there we are. We're pretty well lined up on it. 
Okay. Back off on the throttle. Set down, set down. Okay. Swap outside the cab so we can see where to turn here. And. Well, it wasn't too bad of a landing. For me, anyway. Let's keep going. I don't want to come to a stop yet. I guess this has two runways here, it looks like. All right. Let's taxi over. Get on the uh, parking pad. And we'll come to a stop. And then that should complete leg number 10. I'm getting a little better flying outside of the cab. Although that's not my necessarily my preference. Uh, okay, let's uh, roll up to a stop up here. And we'll be close to the gas pumps, right? Huh? All right. Let's uh, bring this to a stop. Oop, there we go. There we go. Leg complete. Ah, uh, 44 minutes. I, I went a little farther around there on the uh, landing, but uh, not a big deal. All right. So uh, that's it. Leg number 10. Uh, that was uh, pilot point to uh, Agate airport next one will be uh, leg 11 and that'll be from here eget airport to king salmon uh airport so uh yeah we're uh, almost uh, through with this uh, bush trip okay all you sim pilots out there if you like this uh video please hit that thumbs up it really helps the video out a lot and please subscribe that'll really help the channel and ring that bell it'll let you know when i am uploading new videos and i'm doing that on a pretty much regular basis Okay, all you SM pilots, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.